everyone welcome to my youtube channel tech and tips with king in this video i am going to show how you can run red hat os in your android using libox pc emulator application so without any wasting of time let's get into the video in this video i am going to show how you can run red hat os in your android using box pc emulator so after a long time i am going to use box pc emulator so this is the another pc emulator like limbo pc emulator in this emulator we can run uh, any os in my previous video i've already shown that how you can run windows 10 windows xp lot of uh, oss with this uh, box pc emulator so this is the first time i'm going to run any linux in the box pc emulator so this is gonna be first time on my channel i'm going to run linux so red hat based on red hat os is based on linux os so in this video i'm going to show how you can run with using box pc emulator so first of all you have to download this application box pc emulator the download link in the description and this application is officially available on the play store you can check out there and download from there and second thing you have to download the red hat or red hat iso file so it will be a prox uh, a 2 gb the download link in the description you can check out there and download from there so first of all you have to open the box pc emulator application so as you can see in the screen this is the interface of the box pc emulator application and this is the very different from the limbo pc emulator both are the emulators which we can run uh, windows or any other os like linux mac os any other thing so this is the emulator so this is the different i'm going to show how you can set up and how you can run the linux in this box pc emulator application so first of all you have to click on this ata0 master after clicking on it to make sure it will be on the disk as you can see it will be the serial rom and this is a disk so you have to click on the disk and then after you have to click on the select after clicking on the select you have to get uh, you have to select the uh, red hat file i've already told you to download the download in the description you have to select that file so i've already selected it will be a uh, c point image so at down here you have to as you can see there is a boot option make sure it be on the disk and the file selector you have to just click on the in app old so this is the setting main setting you have to do make sure it will be on the in app old and the boot from disk so we have done the with the storage you have to just uh, right swipe after right swipe yeah as you can see I've, uh, on the top it will return cpu model you have to select the cpu model i am going to select about uh, i am going to select amd athlon 64 processor so this is the processor i am going to select you can select the other one but i recommend you to select this one now you have to select chipset i440fx and uh, ram memory you can select as much as possible as you can see it will only 1000 mb ram in this box pc emulator so i am selecting the as much as possible uh, so now you have to get into the vga card you have to select the cyrus logic cl the second one pci so this is the cards you have to select so now we have done with the hardware you have to again swipe right and you have to click on the full screen so we have done all the settings after doing all the settings make sure the settings are very uh, set up very correctly and everything is uh, checked like i have done after doing so you have to just click to start button after clicking start button we go into landscape phone so let me just show you after clicking so as you can see there is a, a green start button over here on the right top you have to just click on it so after clicking it will automatically landscape the phone and started the red hat os so let me just set up the camera as you can see the red hat linux is started booting up here and started showing some commands and scripts so it will going to take some time So as you can see in the screen red hat to os has been successfully booted and it will ask me to enter enter the username and password so here you, you have to be careful you have to insert the same username and password while inserting and i also mentioned the username and password on the screen here so i'm going to type the username so just now type the username let me just click to enter i'm going to type the password So as you can see just now insert the uh, username and password so it will going to log in in the red hat os so as you can see this is the red hat os
So as you can see in this screen, finally the Red Hat OS has been successfully booted. And as you can see, this is the desktop of the Red Hat OS. Let me just show you. The Box PC emulator is running over here. As you can see, this is the Box PC emulator. Now I can use the fully working Red Hat OS Linux in my Android. So as you can see, the time and date is perfectly synced with this Red Hat OS with the Box PC emulator. So this is the desktop and this is the start button of the Red Hat OS. And there are a lot of preloaded softwares. Uh, one thing I find about the Box PC emulator, the mouse is very sensitive to use. It's automatically click here and there. So as you can see, there are preloaded softwares over here in graphics, uh, internet, to office, preferences. Everything is perfectly working. You can check. To I didn't check the internet because I don't think the internet will going to work with the box PC emulator. We can use internet in the limbo PC emulator. So as you can see this is the Red Hat OS and as you can see you can uh, switch the workplace workspace switcher as you can see. You can uh, maintain for desktop over with this Red Hat OS in the box PC emulator. So you can do a lot of things. Uh, the main software of the Linux is terminal. Uh, everything that commands you can do a lot of thing with this so as you can see this is the red hat OS perfectly working in android with using box pc emulator so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if you have any question or problem let me know in the comments thank you